The pillow needs washed and the pen bookstore sells pins and pins. P-E-N-S and P-I-N-S. That's my Central Ohio accent. And it's really interesting because no nobody imagines a Central Ohio accent. We don't sell merch that has Central Ohio phonology on it the way that they do in Philly or Boston or New York, right? So New Yorkers will get really frustrated if you try to say, hey, I'm walking here. And Philadelphians uh, all came for me on my bad use of John. But I'm from a place that's imagined as having an accent from nowhere, even though most of you watching this are not people that can say needs wash or pronouncing pen the way that I do. There's variation within Central Ohio. Not even everybody in my family says these words the way that I do, but that Phil Fell merger and that pen pen merger, so the pillow thing and the pen thing, are really common in Central Ohio among white and black speakers, although of course not everybody. And the needs washed thing is what we call the Pittsburgh passive. Um, so it extends westward from Pittsburgh through Central Ohio. So you can say the car needs washed, the dog needs walked, all kinds of stuff like this. And because I'm imagined to have an accent from nowhere, which comes with a lot of privilege, people typically don't even comment on it. But this is in stark contrast to the this sort of stereotypical and registered accent that you get in places like Philly, Boston, New York. So if you wanna try to sound like you're from Central Ohio, people will kind of accept anything as Central Ohio, as long as it's not marked to them. And so it's really interesting that there are these places where everyone has really strong ideologies about what the stereotype sounds like and whether or not they belong to it. But there's also vast swaths of America where nobody cares. A lot of this has to do with how we imagine a place. It has to do with race. It has to do with class. It has to do with the way that language change proceeded historically. So you'll notice that a lot of places out West don't have strong stereotypes attached with them. That's why I'm using, you know, Philly, Boston, New York. Because people have been speaking English there for longer, there's been more opportunity for them to develop city specific ways of talking. So next time you're talking to somebody and you think, mm, that person doesn't have an accent, they do. It's just not one that you have a stereotype about.